Hey guys, Todd McCree here from Great Escape Farms. Wanted to give you a quick update on the water harvesting project here. Had a, more downpours last night, actually ended up filling up my t uh, IBC totes here. One issue I did have is right here, you can see there's water on top. So that's not water that overflowed or anything like that. What that is, is water just coming down and hitting the top and it stayed there and making a pool. So I'm going to want to get rid of this. I haven't quite figured out how to do it yet. I had a buddy here that suggested maybe putting a kid's inner tube or something up here to kind of lift it up and push it off the side. So that might work. I'll have to play with that and see what's up. So uh, it always seems to be something here. Another thing that I thought about, and I'm surprised nobody else really picked up on this, is I, so I have three inch pipes coming in at the top. Uh, and that's coming from four by three on the top. So I go from four by three down straight three circular here in the IBC tote itself right here has a two inch output. So it seems to be okay. I don't really have any issues here with overflow or anything. Uh, I guess in a really, really bad downpour I would. Where I run into issue is over here I have two inches. It goes under the ground and it connects up right here. And then I have another two inches. So I have input here into this tote, input there into that tote. So I have two separate pipes that are three inches feeding into this system with only two inches connecting together and coming up and going out my overflow, which is also only two inches. In a gully washer like we had last night, that's not big enough and that's gonna cause issues. So what I'm going to do, and I have the parts, but unfortunately I have to leave for this weekend. I won't get a chance to do it. Is I'm going to leave everything here two inches because uh, that's the feed coming in and I'm going to leave everything here two inches. What I'm going to do is on the downside right here where they connect together right under this valve here I'm going to uh, well first off I'm going to put one of these unions for a quick disconnect so that I can winterize it. So I'll come out I'll do a 90 degrees I'll do a union and then I will go into a two inch to four inch and that's where I will connect the bottom piece up. So I won't have two inch plus two inch connecting together. What I'll have is two inch feeding into four inch from this system and two inch feeding into four inch from that system. And that way I'll have four inches that will feed into the overflow. So once I have both of that into a four inch pipe, then I'll do the same as this. I will come up over and down with the four inch and I'll have to do that somewhere in the center here. And then I'll feed that out over this way. And uh, like I say, eventually I'll have a swale here to catch any water there and hold down the property a little bit longer. One of the other things I have is what my dog over here is investigating. One of the other issues I have is my external pipe here. I had this uh, screen put on and I had it wire tied on. And I had so much pressure coming out of it last night because it had a little bit of gum and all on it. It just blew it right off. So I'm going to have to come up with a different a different mechanism here. And I haven't quite figured out what to do. In my last video on this project, I talked about purchasing a clear PVC over here so that I could see the water, water height. What I came up with instead is a, I will connect into uh, this three quarter inch valve right here. And I found a piece that has three quarter inch valve to a nipple. And that nipple will fit on a half inch pipe like this, which is much cheaper than buying clear PVC. And then I'll just route it up and up to here. And I actually have one of these that I tried earlier today, just held it up. So I will uh, permanently put it up here, uh, just attach it to this uh, bracket somehow. And that way it will give me the water level and let me know what it is. So the, that's what I had planned on doing this weekend. Unfortunately, I will not get it done this weekend, but uh, just give you an idea of where I'm at and the situation. So uh, I don't think I'm going to be out here for another two weeks to actually work. I have one quick trip next week that I'll be just passing through and I, it won't be a work weekend. So uh, this is going to have to sit the way it is and just deal with it and then we'll uh, make the final repairs here in two weeks or at least hope final repairs. I had actually thought that the, these were the final repairs I did last week. So keep coming up with more. Eventually I'll put together a an individual or a single video of begin beginning to end on how to put this together and actually show you 
what a completed system looks like correct with all of my fixes in place instead of explaining as you go along. So anyhow, that's it for this. Oh, one other, other thing. As I said, we had a gully washer last night. And if you remember, one of the other projects I had last week was putting in dams up here. And I went and I checked that and they, they worked great. So they did, the dams did stop all of the wash away from coming down on the back side of my berm here. So that was good. I also had an issue with yellow jackets that I stopped with. I went back and I moved some other lumber and didn't see them. So hopefully they were just scouting and looking for a place and decided not to build there. So uh, I should be able to complete this project in the next couple of weeks as well. So that's it for this week. For more information on these projects, visit greatescapefarms.com.